Hi there everyone and a very warm welcome to this new series of videos on music theory. So I'm just going to write down music theory. So what is music theory exactly? Well music theory is a really really broad term because it really covers everything that makes music work. Almost all the things that we've talked about on the site so far fall under the idea of music theory and in this series we're going to look at them in a lot more detail which is really exciting because a lot of people think music theory is boring because they'd much rather just get on and play their instrument and, and make music and that's you know you can understand why people feel that way but actually you know music theory is the most important thing and the most exciting thing that we can learn because it opens up doors to allowing us to do anything we want with music if we understand music theory we can understand how it all works and how we can use it to express our own ideas or to play other people's ideas and generally have a fantastic time so there are lots of things that come under music theory um, a really important one of these of course would be the way that we organise pitch. Pitch is a really important part of music. Every country that you might visit around the world will have slightly different ways of organising pitch into music. And so it can be very interesting to learn about those and we'll probably be starting in the West but hopefully in future videos we'll go right the way around the world and have a look at some other um, ways of organising pitch that come from other countries. A very good way of thinking about pitch that we'll be looking at is to look at scales and this is groups of pitches that we might use in a particular piece. If we want to create a particular mood, we might use a particular scale. There are scales to make music sound happy, there are scales to make music sound sad, music scales to make music sound triumphant, to sound tragic. It, it, you know, there's lots of different ways of making pitch create a character in music for us and hopefully we'll be having a look at all of that. Another really important part of music theory is rhythm. Rhythm is of course how we control sounds as time passes. I think music's a really fantastic thing because you have to experience it in real time. You have to have someone who's there playing it for you, or at least most of the time. And it's very different from a painting which might just hang in an art gallery and the, you know, the artist might have been dead for 200 years. With music, it's something that you experience in real life. And so rhythm helps us to control the sounds as we, as we produce music and, and, and set them um, to happen in, in established patterns. So that's something we'll be looking at. Um, another really important part of music is the way we can take notes and rhythms and turn them into harmony which is combining pitches together to make interesting things called chords which we'll learn all about another really important part of music theory is looking at the way that pieces of music are constructed so it might be the case that you you might want to write a pop song and if that was the case there's a, there's a set form for a pop song which goes something like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, something else it might be a solo, it might be a middle eight and then maybe a verse and then two more choruses to finish it off. That's the kind of standard form for a pop song. A symphony has a particular form, a concerto has a particular form, an opera has a particular form and so we'll be learning all about how these different forms of music help us to organise our music into longer, bigger structures. And the next thing we'll be looking at will be timbre very important part of all music from anywhere in the world and so timbre is just looking at ideas around the way things sound so this sound the piano you know we recognize it it's very very central sound to, to a lot of the music that we hear on a, on a regular basis that has a particular timbre and it's very different to say a violin or a flute and if we're composing music we might want to think about what's the best timbre for the kind of effect that we're trying to produce at any one time and i think finally for this small introduction we'll be looking at something called texture. And we use texture to talk about how much is going on in the music, whether it's very complicated, there's lots of notes going on and lots of different rhythms going on all at once in the music, or is it more simple? Is it a more straightforward texture? And that can be very important for working out what kind of an effect we want to produce, because obviously busy music sounds a particular way and creates a particular character, and music that's not so busy, there's less going on, obviously has a much simpler, plainer character when we play it to people. And so I think we should dive straight in and start having a look at pitch. Pitch is really important in any kind of music and in the West we've um, over the last 2000 years or so developed various ways to organise pitch into music so that we can play together with large groups of other people, we can um, write music down so that other people can play it for us and that's kind of an established way that we use pitch in Western music and so that's a fantastic place to get started and that's what we'll be doing in the next video.